from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be an unboxing of a Total Beauty collection. But as you can see by this Total Beauty collection, it's a little different than the typical collections in that it's exclusively for HSN. On September 27th, HSN is going to have an entire day dedicated to Total Beauty Confidence, and that's where some editors from TotalBeauty.com will come on air for 24 hours and talk about, share their expertise, and talk about products. Among the things they'll be sharing with you that day, one of which is this Total Beauty collection. So I was given the privilege to see it beforehand, that way I could test things out, some of which I didn't have to though because I already had them and um, used them regularly. So, But I was given the opportunity to try them and show them to you before the actual date of air so you could check it out, I give you the details, and you can see if it's something that you're interested in buying. So if you'd like to see what is in this Total Beauty collection, please continue watching. So there are nine samples in this Total Beauty collection, which is at least three or four more than you get in your normal Total Beauty collection, and I believe the price has been raised um, from the 15 they typically go for to a 19.95, and then you get free shipping on top of that. So um, just to give you some basic statistics on this Total Beauty collection, that's what it is. I'm not gonna, I'm not about to hold this box up. Well, I guess you can get a good idea for what it looks like here. Otherwise, I'm just gonna flash a picture that I took earlier with everything sitting nice and neat inside it because I've since opened things and tried them and all that, but this is roughly what your box will look like. It still has the fun, like, confetti stuff, but there are significantly more samples than you would get in your normal Total Beauty collection. So the first of which is but the first I'm going to talk about is this Lorac Lips with Benefits lip gloss, and that is because I'm not wearing lip gloss. I held off because um, I knew I was going to be talking about this, and I wanted you to be able to see this on, but my lips are um, dry and kind of killing me, and this is a really good moisturizing lip gloss. I'm going to pop it on right now so you can see what it looks like on. So this is the Lips with Benefits on my lips. You can see it looks sheer, but it's really not. But, oh, this is in the shade Chuck, by the way, which is a mix of kind of, woo, um, a camel and a light tan, I would say. Yeah, sure. Uh, but you can see it's opaque, despite looking like it didn't really add much more than a gloss to my lips. Those that with lighter and less um, tinted lips than me will actually get some coverage out of this, as you can see by the swatch. I'm sure I'll flash this by in bigger form so you can see it more in depth. Now, this is not my first experience with these Lips with Benefits. I have also... Um, had and tried and loved these in Nick and Chris for a while. In fact, I've done a, done a review on these and overall I really like how moisturizing they are. They really do deliver in that aspect. However, um, with these shades in particular they can be a little um, milky because they are semi-opaque and so if you, they take a little bit of working with to get them to apply evenly because they are semi-opaque. They can be splotchy sometimes. However, I don't find that's the case with this Chuck color. This is very evenly um, pigmented and I don't notice it being semi-opaque. It's pretty much fully opaque. I don't have any issues with it sinking into lip lines or anything like that. So I, I really do like the shade probably more so than these two, but it still has the same kind of moisturizing benefits as the, the line as a whole. So as a whole I would say this is really a great product to throw in this box because it's it the product itself is good. It's quality, it works well. Moisturizing, it works well as a lip gloss. However, if this isn't the world's smallest sample size, I don't know what is. That's kind of unfortunate. However, I have gotten quite a few wears out of this. So um, it's deceptively, it packs a deceptive amount of product in there. It's still very small, but you know, it's, you know you're getting samples. And so as long as you know you're getting good samples, this might be something you're interested in. Now that we have the lips done, let's talk about hair. Uh, two products that you get in this box are Carol's Daughter Manoi Repairing Sulfate Free Shampoo and Conditioner. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. M O N O I Manoi. I don't. We just won't say it again, and that solves the problem there. Uh, you get this duo, and these are the packets, the, like the non-resealable. You pretty much get one use out of them unless you can clever or figure out how to cleverly store them without them gushing everywhere. But they are really great. Let's start with the shampoo. Despite being sulfate free, it lathers like a dream. Um, so that's really nice. Plus, it smells like gardenia, which is probably my favorite. In fact, there might be... Is there gardenia in here? Does it say? Yes, there is Tahitian gardenia in here, um, along with coconut oil and many other things that fortify and help your hair, but it smells like a dream. The same goes for the conditioner as far as smell, and I also noticed this being very moisturizing. The unfortunate thing about these packets, in addition to not being resealable, is the kind of 
one use or maybe even two uses you get out of them. Really, even two uses for me isn't enough to tell how it's going to weigh my hair down in the long run. You know, after a week of using a shampoo or a conditioner, it's going to kind of change the way your hair is styled and works with the other products in your hair regimen. So I would have liked to see bigger sample sizes in this, but for what I got, I really, they just smell so good. So, and I had never tried the brand Carol's Daughter before, so I did enjoy getting to try a brand, which is what this box is all about, getting to try products that other people think are stellar and perform well. You know, you're getting to sample them, which is what this box is about. So, in that respect, these were good additions to the box. However, I do wish there were more products. Everything from hair to makeup to teeth to um, creams and stuff. So that's one thing this box has going for it is it has a very diverse sampling of products. The next product I'm going to talk about is this Intel IntelliWhite Pro White Professional Toothpaste. And as you can see, I've been using this probably for a week now actually. I was traveling for the past four or five days and this is what I brought with me. That way I could use this and only this on my teeth twice a day, sometimes even more than that, just so I could get a good feel for um, what it's supposed to do. Now, obviously from the name IntelliWhite, it's supposed to whiten and I don't honestly notice that much whitening going on in my teeth. And I, like I said, have been using this consecutively for the past few days. However, it doesn't mean I don't love it. I do, and I'll tell you why. This has fluoride and xylitol in it, both of which help to strengthen your teeth. I personally have weak nail enamel, both genetically and I happen to drink a lot of soda, diet soda in particular, and it's not good for your teeth. I know it, it's unfortunate, but one of the things that I use to combat the way it weakens my tooth enamel is by using products that are fortified with fluoride. Typically I use a mouthwash only because it's kind of harder to find for me to find toothpaste with fluoride in it. So to find this that says it whitens and I'm sure it does in the long run, but more importantly has fluoride in it was really nice for me and I did notice some reduced sensitivity when I started using this. So, uh, and I know from personal experience that using dental products with fluoride in it helps in the long run. So for me this was a win product and for those of you that also have weakened nail enamel or are looking for that whitening and want to give this a go, you might find this adds some serious value to your box as well because it's also a large sample. I mean I've been using this like I said for four or five days and the rest of this is entirely full and I'm pretty generous with my with my toothpaste so it's, it's a generous sized product. The next product I'm going to talk about is another hair product and that is the Amica Oblifica Oil Treatment for your hair. And I'm going to start off by saying I am no stranger to this product. I discovered this product probably about a year ago, maybe a little less than, and have been loving it ever since. This is my go-to leave-in conditioner. It's like a, is it an argan oil? It's an oil and I put it on the tips, the ends of my hair, and it really helps with styling, keeping them from getting too damaged. It extends, you know, my hair cuts because I use a lot of heat tools on my hair and so it extends my time between stylings because I do have such long hair and I tend to get split when I use heat tools. So it does that but it also in the winter, I, this was a godsend in the winter because um, if you live in the Midwest where it's super dry, super cold, your hair will get so staticky and knotty and you wear scarves around your necks and so when you come home at the end of the day you'll just have this little rat's nest at the base of your neck and this I can't even tell you how much it helped it was unbelievable so um, this was a perfect travel size for me however it does leak I'm not gonna lie to you I once again used this while traveling because I didn't want to haul this thing everywhere so I opened it up but it, it did leak a little bit. The thing about this though is that when it does leak, I just wipe whatever's on the bottle and I put it on the back of my hands, like my knuckle area, because it, I mean, it moisturizes. That's what it does the ends of your hair. And because it's an oil, it sinks in really nicely. And so it's kind of a win-win, really. Now let's move on to this Lancome Hypnostrama Mascara. I was kind of excited to try this because I hadn't really paid much attention to Lancome mascara despite knowing and hearing that they are great. So I was excited to try this plus this has kind of a bizarre little applicator. So I guess we'll start with talking about the formula. It is it's wet, but it's thick. I don't know how to explain it. It's the thickest wet formula I've ever seen in a mascara. So the way that kind of translates onto the lashes is that it really lengthens things, but can also clump your lashes a little bit. Um, I mostly attribute that though to the brush because these bristles are very thick and they're not very densely packed. They're kind of spaced farther apart so there's room for your lashes to kind of get stuck together and clump and the more you run it through your lashes it doesn't really help them all that much because they're just big spaces in between the little, little bristle 
things. Um, so it does do that, but not very much. Overall, I really enjoyed using this mascara. It definitely added value to this box for me because I do like trying kind of higher end mascaras. It you know, it's better than buying the kind of the full shebang because they can get expensive. You know me, I love my drugstore mascara, so to get to kind of indulge and try something that you've heard great things about but you can't necessarily afford to go out and buy, it's, it's really nice, which is, again, one of the points of these sample boxes. The next product is this Bosha Luminizing Black Mask, and this is the box it comes in, but then here is the little um, tube or... Uh, yeah, tube that it is in, and it's a peel-off mask, so it's kind of like those, what is this, the brand Freeman's or Friedman's, where you put it on, but instead of being clear, it's black, and so it's a little startling, I mean, it's no lie. Um, you get it out, and it's like, like tar. I mean, actually, I think I swatched this, so I'm not going to do it because it does get a little messy and you have to peel it off, so, but it's a very cool product. You put it on, you let it dry for 10, or what does the box say, you let it dry for 20 minutes, basically until it's dry, and then you peel it off. The one mistake I made with this, though, is I didn't put it on thick enough. I would tried to get more than one use out of a tube. Just skip that. Go for it. Use the whole tube, because when you don't get it on thick enough in some areas, you'll spend the rest of the night trying to get the little extra pieces off, and it won't come off in one piece, and so just bite the bullet and use this whole tube on your face, because that it's really, you need this much to get a good peel off and have it not hurt and kind of irritate your skin if you do have sensitive skin. Other than that though, I did notice a somewhat luminizing effect. I mean, in, in as much that I notice it with any other peel off mask, but still, the, the effect is there and so it does what it says it is going to do. So if you're a fan of peel off masks, I highly recommend um, checking this out because this is a good one, but use the whole tube. <laughs> Two more products to go and then I promise we are almost done. The first one I'm going to talk about is this Precious Moroccan Oil o Oasis Day Cream and it has a SPF of 25 and it opens up like this. It has a little cap in here to protect it and then you take it out and you can see there is this. It's it's pretty pretty thick. It smells a little like, the only scent it has is a little like tinge of sunscreen but it's not overwhelming. It's not like you're going to the beach or anything. Um, it's really nice. I didn't use it too much on my face because as you saw in a previous video I have my skincare regimen and my skin is very um, it just acts up a lot. So I mostly stuck to using it on the back of my hands and I've used it twice I believe on my face but I just didn't want to risk um, throwing the balance off quite frankly and so from what I did wear of it and experience it it's it's nice. I mean it's not too thick which is I love in a face cream because um, more mature skin will want a thicker cream but this is perfect for kind of acne prone or younger skin so that's really nice. Aside from that though um, it's a pretty standard sunscreen like SPF day cream. One thing I will say about it though is the portion is very generous. Like it's, I do get a few, um, well more, more than a few uses out of it. I think this will last me for quite a while. So I do think this adds some bang for your buck in this kit. The last product in this box is another cream and it's by the brand Prey. I think I'm saying that right. P-R-A-I. And it's their Ageless Throat and Décolleté Cream. And I'm not really in a position right now to need throat or décolleté cream for wrinkles or age spots or anything like that, but I did use it and it's very enriching. Again, this is another one of those products that you will get quite a few uses out of because it's a generous size, or it's, it's a large jar with a generous portion in it, but um, really because I don't have anywhere to start from, I can't tell you what the end results are, but it is a very nice cream and it doesn't, it smells kind of like pressed laundry if that, I don't know, influences you at all. So that is it. That's everything in this HSN exclusive Total Beauty collection. Overall, I would say I recommend it. The great thing about this is that unlike other Total Beauty collections, you get to see what's in it beforehand. So you can kind of make the call yourself. You know everything that comes in it. You've heard what I have to say about each of the products. And you know the size because that's another thing that kind of weighs into whether it's worth the money or not is if you're going to get full size products, if you know everything is sample size. I would say it's pretty balanced. There aren't any full size products in this box as you could see. However, there were some very generous portions. And so for the $19.95 price tag plus free shipping, um, I think it would be worth it and it's definitely worth checking out. So I hope that was helpful and I hope I included all the details that I wanted to. If not, if you have some questions that I left unanswered or anything like that, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I would be happy to answer it for you. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!